Hey guys, today we're gonna do a Halloween look. This was actually a requested look. It's an inspired look from the Marie Antoinette movie that came out in 2006, I think. And we're just gonna do her look. It's gonna be a very subtle look, so let's get started. First off, I'm gonna use a primer from Vanilla Co. It's a matte primer, and I'm gonna apply it all over my face. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix two foundations. One is this Makeup Forever HD foundation, and the other is this Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation. The reason why I'm doing this is Estee Lauder a bit too matte, and it's hard to blend, so I'm just going to mix these two. One drop. And just blend it out with my fingers. I look like a ghost. In order to give myself an even more matte complexion, what I'm going to use is this Makeup Forever Duo Matte and use a makeup sponge and just dab a lot on it and start dabbing it on my face. Using a brown shade, this is a matte shade, I am going to draw my eyebrows. Using a rose gold base for my eyes, I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelid. Now I'm going to use a NYX Chrome Eyeshadow in Golden Peach. It's just the golden peachy color. What you need to do is grab your little flat brush and your Fix Plus and just with your brush, dab it in. Just pat it along your eyelid. Now using a fluffy blending brush, what I'm going to do is just blend out the harsh lines, but don't go up too much, just play it around where you applied your chrome shadow. Now using a very neutral color, this is Stila's eyeshadow in Wheat. I'm going to use a clean brush and just try to leave a hint of pink and blend out all the colors so you could have a very natural looking eye color. If it's too pink, your eyes going to look really swollen and you're going to look really sick. See how we're muting out all the pinky tones? Now using the same flat brush and matte brown shadow, just put a little bit on the tip of your brush and try to outline where your eye folds. So this way your eye could be more defined. Now using the blending brush that we used earlier, it still has a little bit of pink left on it. Just blend everything out, but not too much.
Now using the same small brush that we put the loose eyeshadow on, what I'm going to do is use the same pencil. I know I'm kind of jumping around a bit. And this time we're not going to wet the brush. What we're going to do is just put a little bit of product on here. It could get a little bit sticky. And then dip it in the shadow again. Tap off the excess. And just line your under lash line. Not all the way in, but just the outer corner. Now curl your eyelashes. And apply a mascara. Just wiggle it up. If you want to use this look as an everyday look, then you should stop here and just put on whatever lip product you want to put on. But since this tutorial is oriented towards the Halloween look, I'm just going to go a little bit overboard and if you're interested in it, you could just keep watching. Okay, now we're going to highlight our cheekbone. I'm using the Face Shop and this is just a highlighter. In real life, Marie Antoinette didn't really have high cheekbones. She just had a very long face. But I guess since we're doing the movie version, just really want to highlight underneath your eyes and on top of your cheekbone, right here. A mineralized blush by MAC. This is Nuance. And a angled face brush right here just add a lot of color all right now we're gonna add another layer of blush because Marie Antoinette was very famous for putting on a lot of blush back then they called it rouge and I'm gonna use this art blusher from Clio it's in number two in pink and we're just gonna try to make a very red almost a hilarious looking blush because that was like the fashion back in the day and if you read the book I'm just gonna pull it down all the way down here if you read the book about her it's called Marie Antoinette the journey she complains about how she can't even put her rouge on after she's her meal because everyone is just watching her at the palace and she had no private life and how difficult that was blah 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 and pull it all the way down because that's what she usually did I'm sorry guys I totally forgot I was supposed to do my eyeliner and I just went on to my cheeks but um, we're gonna do a very 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 subtle eyeliner look today so I'm gonna use a Tony Moly brown gel liner and just grab a little put it on my hand so I could easily use it and what we're going to do is we're not going to put it above the lash line. We're going to put it right here on, I guess, like, this is the water line. Not the water line. What is this? Like, tight line, I guess? Like, underneath your lashes. Alright, now it's time for the lips. And Marie Antoinette always had, or in the movie, she was always wearing bright, fuchsia or like red colored lipstick so what I'm going to use is my YSL Pure Shine. I think this is tuxedo pink and I'm just going to apply it all over my lips. Lancome Absolute Sun Touch Terra shade. It's like this. Alright guys, so here's the look. <laughs> I know you can't wear your makeup like this every day, but if you're going to do a Marie Antoinette for Halloween, then you could always get the wig because I don't have blonde hair and I have to go out, so I can't do the hair thing. You guys could go to my blog and I'll post some pictures from the movie and what inspired me and what look inspired me. And if you guys want to use this as an everyday look, all you have to do is tone down the blush and the highlighter. If you want to go with the lips, you could go with the lips. It looked like I've been slapped around a lot. Hope you guys enjoyed the look and um, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!
Say bye to her, please. <laughs> she dressed up for this video. Bye.